Well, good morning and welcome to City Line. It is great to be in your home. We are live every Thursday morning, and this Thursday morning happens to be Valentine's Day. So from us here at TV Tacoma to you and your loves, happy Valentine's Day to whomever you love. We, speaking of love, we have a great uh, hour ahead of us. Later on in the hour, we'll be checking with uh, the Destiny City Film Festival. It's that time of year again. So we have um, their founder and we have uh, two individuals who have some work they're gonna talk about that you can see at the film festival. And then Symphony Tacoma is here and guess what? They have a brand new executive director and we get to meet this person, so you don't wanna miss that. And then the American Heart Association is here because uh, Heart Association always celebrates the Go Red Month, so we'll be talking with two individuals that are deeply tied to this movement. And then with me right now is a wonderful organization that every time I turn around, and I'm on social media or I'm reading a paper, there is something that they are doing to make our community better. And yes, I'm talking about the Tacoma Urban League. So please join me in welcoming Tawana Franklin Nobles. You are the president and CEO of Tacoma Urban League. Welcome back. Thank you. It's so good to see you. Last time you were here, you were getting ready to celebrate a huge uh, milestone in how long the Urban League had been together. You were cool as a cucumber, but I knew you had a million facts <laughs> in your head. And then I saw later on across Facebook and Instagram, huge success. You hit it out of the park, Thank so you. congratulations. Thank you. It was, it was very... a wonderful event, well attended. Yes. Just a great celebration of our first 50 years. It was, and here's to the next 50. Thank Speaking you. of what's going to be happening up next, Miss Adrienne Wilson, welcome, my dear. Thank you. You are the coordinator of the Black Empowerment Center. It's good to have you here. Thank you for having me. I cannot wait to find out what you have in store for us in the Black Empowerment Center because you have that look on your face like you have good news to share. <laughs> so it's already February. Let's talk about what has the, the Tacoma Urban League been up to this year. Yeah, it's been a very busy year. So this is, I've been now president and CEO for 18 months. Oh my gosh. A year and a half. And um, last year we were celebrating 50 years and this year we launched a new website. So all of our staff pictures are up on a website. I'm excited about it. Um, we get to talk about uh, the Black Empowerment Center. We get to talk about some of our um, priorities that are coming up, but already this year we've engage some really cool partners. Um, we have a group of friends, um, our consultants, who are gonna be going out to DC for a really cool event wow. later this month. But it just has been a whirlwind of amazing initiatives and partnerships that I know we get to talk about today. Yes. Um, but one thing that I'm really excited about is all of that information being on our website so folks can just plug in and connect yeah. to our work. Websites are just, if you've never rebuilt a website or put a new one in, mm -hmm. they it's like labor. It's not fun, but once they're done, you're just like, oh, it was so worth it. I mean, they're oh, really yes. beautiful, but congratulations. That's a huge milestone. So. Uh, February, uh, speaking of, as a black-led civil rights organization, how does Tacoma Urban League celebrate and honor Black History Month? Yeah, well, 365 days a year. Thank you. <laughs> That's right, 24-7. Um, absolutely. I think that's what I love about being at the Urban League. Well, every day is Black History Month, a celebration of, of blackness in our organization. And mm -hmm. um, this year, we have decided to partner um, and support the Tacoma Pierce County Black Collective. Nice. And so we are supporting their events every Saturday throughout the month of February. Um, 8.30 until 10, they have a Black History program um, that they're offering. And so I was featured on the first panel, and I know Mayor Woodards and um, Chief of Staff Latasha Wortham, she's Chief of Staff yes. for Lieutenant Governor um, Cyrus Habib, but just some amazing judges and leaders in the African American community are going to be part of this uh, the, these weekly events. So we are 
got to make sure we're focusing our energy there this year. But yeah. it's been it's been a great kickoff. I Absolutely. don't know if, if Adrian has checked it out yet, but I encourage all of the community and you to yes. visit those events at the Black Collective. Nice, absolutely. So we, let's, we've got some 2019 priorities and knowing you, you have those priorities laid out like in 2017. Um, so tell us about upcoming projects and then Adrian, I wanna talk with you about how the Black Collective fits into that. Mm -hmm. So 2019 really is all about uplifting um, the work that's happening in our community to support the African-American community. It is all about um, kind of a, a call to action, which we will launch at our luncheon, which is new. Um, and I don't want to give too many details yet, but I intend on providing a, a state of uh, Black Tacoma. And we are launching our Black Empowerment Center, in which Adrian is going to be talking about. And then this year, we're going to make sure we're highlighting um, young Black leaders in the community. And I'll talk a little bit about that uh, later. But um, we want to make sure that while we're closing the racial wealth gap, we are um, calling our community to help us to do that work, but really celebrating those who are in the trenches every yes. single day. Thank um, you. And so we're prioritizing that this year. I love that. Okay. So all of that, and then we have the Black Empowerment Center, and I cannot wait to hear what is this? Okay. Well, the Black Empowerment Center is an initiative of the Tacoma Urban League. And so we're going to employ three strategies for the African-American community. Okay. Um, our first strategy is stabilization. Our second strategy is asset development. And our third strategy is cultural reinforcement. So with stabilization, we are looking to help African-Americans in Tacoma with their credit scores, have higher credit scores, lower debt. Um, asset development is to incentivize a savings program as well as having collective uh, investment opportunities. And then cultural reinforcement is about leadership development, advocacy, and to have liberation education for our, for our um, residents. Wow, that is outstanding. I mean, you have covered everything <laughs> for a physical, spiritual, financially successful life in yes. those three tenants. Absolutely. Well done. So what does our community need to know about asset building in the African community, Adrian? Um, so, so as Tawana talked about the racial wealth gap, and so what we've done over the past couple of years is actually do some research about what the racial wealth gap is and what it means for African Americans in Tacoma. And so um, when I first started this process a couple of years ago, it was stated that it will take African Americans 228 years to catch up to white wealth if white wealth stopped accumulating today. But as we sit here now, that number has changed from 228 to 242. So the Black Empowerment Center is designed to, to tackle the racial wealth gap. And so those strategies are part of the way of how we're gonna go about doing that. That number is staggering. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it took my breath away and my eyes got, what? that's, I'm just gonna say it, that's wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yes. There are so, things that we can do about it. And so, yeah, yeah, so here we are talking about this because we're gonna do something about it. So what partners are you working with uh, that you wanna recognize? Because this, these three tenants are big and nobody does it alone. Well, first and foremost, I would like to uh, recognize and also thank Coleman and Associates. They were the facilitators of this initiative. And if it wasn't for them, I don't think I would be sitting here today. Yeah. Um, so also, so the initiative is comprised of two entities and that's the COP, the Community of Practice, and the cohort. The Community of Practice is Coleman and Associates, um, Tacoma Ministerial Alliance, NAACP Tacoma, United Way of Pierce mm -hmm. County, Tacoma. Um, and Tacoma Urban League. Am I missing anybody? Nope, that's everybody. And then also the other part is the cohort, and that's a group of community members that have been coming to Tacoma Urban League to do research, to help with the design of the Black Empowerment Center. They, we've been meeting for over two years as well, mm -hmm. um, and they are some dedicated community members. You bet members. they are. 
and they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. We have amazing. a strong urban league. I mean, in terms of, of daily showing up, but also just the history and tapestry oh, yeah. of Tacoma. So it, how can our community sign up to help? Well, there are no eligibility requirements. Okay. So it's not based off of income or anything like that, individual or household. Any income can apply for services. Um, I will say that we don't discriminate, but we do prioritize. Yes. African Americans suffer the greatest disparity. Um, and so we want to make sure that our services match match that and we want to make sure that we uplift the African Americans in this community. Yeah, we, we want that number to go away yeah. forever. Wow, impressive. Impre and you were nervous. <laughs> I was. You were nervous about. I'm still nervous. Pro. You're incredible. She's the best to, to speak about this work. She is. So let's switch gears because this all flows into the, the Tacoma Urban League. You hosted a fall uh, living legacy gala um, last year. And will this be an annual event? Yeah, so obviously it's not our 50th anniversary this yeah. year, but we're going to continue to have a fall empowerment dinner. Um, dinner, <laughs> dinner, uh, dinner this year, and um, we will. The information is on our website, and so the date is, um, I believe, the first Friday in October. Mm -hmm. um, but also, we are bringing on a spring luncheon, and I mentioned that earlier. Yes. And so that will be May twenty third, and that will be our first State of Black Tacoma. Um, so I'm excited for our empowerment dinner, which is not unique to Urban Leagues, um, but we we kind of can't have the 50th anniversary every year or 51st anniversary. Mm -hmm. But at our empowerment dinner this year, again, we intend on recognizing dozens of young black leaders and continuing to recognize some of those legacy leaders as well. But it will both events will be wonderful yeah. events. And of course, our luau, yes. our holiday luau always. is yes. always on the calendar. Yeah. So we have a minute left and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that I want to hear thank yous from both of you because mm -hmm. this, what, what you're taking on and what you're accomplishing, I know there's more people we couldn't fit on that couch. So who do you need to thank? Um, I think I forgot to also mention our partner Sound Outreach and Hilltop Urban Gardens. There we go. Um, and so, but my ultimate thank you is to everyone, to Juana, Coleman and Associates, the cohort members, the COP, that have invited me into this space and that have allowed me to grow and help nurture this project. And I'm really grateful and thankful for that. Beautiful. And I'm thankful for Adrian and to our um, national partners as well, Prosperity Now, who has helped right. us to really do incredible research and also um, the Northwest Area Foundation. Yes. So right. we're extremely grateful. Well, I am grateful and still thankful for the two of you and the teams that you lead and the difference that you're making every single day here in Tacoma. And uh, thank you so much for being here. And thank I'm going to have you back soon, and we're going to get that number down to nothing. Okay? <laughs> yes. That's the work. When we come back after this quick break, the American Heart Association will be here to talk about Go Red Month. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.